Hello, good morning viewers. In our previous lesson, we have learned how to find the terms in binomial expansion. But in this tutorial, we are going to learn how to find their respective coefficients using Pascal triangle. Okay, we are asked to find the coefficient of a b to the power of 3 in the expansion of a plus b raised to the power of 4. We don't have to expand the entire a plus b raised to the power of 4. Uh, this is the essence of this tutorial. The second one, the coefficient of y to the power of 2 in the expansion of this, the coefficient of x cubed y cubed in the expansion of this. So let's start with the first one. We have a, b to the power of 3. We want to find that number attached to a, b to the power of 3 in the expansion of this. We need to find that coefficient in our Pascal's triangle. But which time is that? To find the required term, remember after expanding the whole of this, you have to get five number of terms because our power here is four and always after expansion, you will get uh, n plus one number of terms. So we have five terms here. But to find out which term is this exactly, you take that five, which is the total number of terms, then you subtract the power of e, which is always the first term. The power of a here is 1, and uh, 5 minus 1 is equal to 4. So it means that uh, this is the fourth term in the expansion of this. So since it is the fourth term, let us go ahead and look for the coefficient under our Pascal triangle. All right. Uh, you can clearly see that this is the coefficient of the expansion of any binomial term to the power of 4. So the first term is 1, 2, 3, 4. So the coefficient of the first term is 4. So the coefficient is 4. We can directly write 4 because uh, our binomials under the bracket do not contain any coefficient. Or rather we say they are 1, 1. And 1, 1 cannot affect the original coefficient which is 4. So we have 4 here. All right, moving on to the second one. The second problem, we want to find the coefficient of y squared, the number just beside y squared. First of all, let us consider the power here. The power is five, and it means that after expansion, we are going to obtain six terms. Six terms. So, which term is this, term number what? We take that 6, we take away the power of a, in this case, a is the first term, but in this case we have 2y, and the power there is 2, and 6 minus 2 is equal to 4. Therefore, this is the fourth term in the expansion of 2y minus 3 to the power of 5. So let us go ahead and find the coefficient. So any binomial to the power of 5, you're going to use this coefficient where we have five from the second term. And we are looking for the fourth term, one, two, three, four. So we are going to take 10. So I'm not going to write 10 directly here because you can see uh, y has a coefficient and we have another constant here. So we have to simplify first. So we say 10, then multiply by the first coefficient is two and the, our constant is also a coefficient, negative 3. And you have to give them uh, their respective powers. If y has a power of 2, definitely negative 3 will take power of 3. Because the two, the two powers added up together will give us the total. 2 plus 3 will give us this 5. So this is what we need to simplify in order to get the coefficient of y squared. So this becomes 10 multiplied by 2 to the power of 2 is 4. Then multiply by negative 3 to the power of 3 is negative 27. So let's just multiply all of this together. We have 10 times 4 is 40. And 40 times negative 27 is negative 1080. So we have negative 1080. This is the coefficient. So let me write it here. Negative 
and 80. Then the last one, the last one we want to find the coefficient of x cubed, y cubed in the expansion of this. After expanding this, you're going to get 7 terms. So we have 7. And to find which term is this, we're going to subtract the power of a, which is the first term. Uh, in this case, we have power of x, which is 3. This will give us 4. So it means that the term number is 4 uh, in the expansion of 3x plus 2y raised to the power of 6. So let's go ahead and find the coefficient of the expansion of binomial to the power of 6. To the power of 6, you can see we have 6 here. So we are going to consider this row. And uh, fourth term, 1, 2, 3, 4. The coefficient there is 20. So we take 20. Multiply by the coefficient of the first term, 3. Multiply by the coefficient of the second term, which is 2. Then we have to give them their respective powers. For x, uh, we have to give this the power of 3. This is also power of 3. This will be 20 multiplied by 3 to the power of 3 is 27. 2 to the power of 3 is 8. So this is what we need to multiply. 20 times 27 times 8. That will give us 4,320. 4,320 as the coefficient of x cubed, y cubed. So let me write it here. 4, 3, 2, 0. So this is how to find the coefficients uh, of binomial terms without expanding the whole terms. And this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye bye.